Hello everyone. Today I will be dealing with the topic APG4 system of classification. This is nothing but angiosperm phylogenetic group system of classification and APG4 is the latest version of angiosperm phylogenetic group system of classification. And this is molecular based system of plant taxonomy for flowering plants and here families are organized numerically within the orders giving them a linear approach from 1 to 4, 16 families like that and this is developed by angiosperm phylogeny group. This APG system first version came in 1998 and second version came in 2004, third version in 2009, fourth and latest version came out in 2016. Let us look into the principles of APG system. The first principle says that the Linnaean system of orders and families should be retained. That means in a taxonomic hierarchy from species till order level we have to maintain the Linnaean system that is species, genera, family, order like that. But later onwards it is not fixed entity and it is called as groups and groups should be monophyletic in nature that means they should have a common ancestor then a broad approach is taken to defining the limits of groups such as orders and families. Here to consider a lot of more and more information has been received. It is not only molecular though it is based on molecular data of uh, especially chloroplast DNA uh, along with the mitochondrial and nuclear DNA but it is also deals with the other branches, cytological studies, maybe chemotaxonomic studies, maybe wood anatomical studies, palynological studies, all those different broad approaches have been taken to limit the orders and families and to identify the lineage. And above or parallel to the levels of orders and families, the term clade is used more freely. Here clade refers to, uh, typically it is refers to a branch and there will be n number of branches it is not fixed entity as in the earlier system or our well-known system Bentham and Hooker system of classification where uh, the uh, plants have been divided from the kingdom or division to uh, species in a methodical order with the everything taxons are ranked uh, appropriately like that whereas here it need not be like that but the clad should represent a lineage, a distinct lineage which is not uh, monophyletic in nature so together it should give in a group there should be only monophyletic uh, regions because it is not possible to give name for each and every clad that is what the principles of APG system believes. Let us look into the overview of the system what and all how this system has classified the plants this is what we are going to study and when we consider the magnanimity of the angiosperms we have uh, we refers to the scientific community knows about 3 lakh species of angiosperms which are uh, placed uh, into 13,000 genera and which com come under 416 families belongs to 64 orders as per the APG and how this has been placed this is what we are going to look one by one. And all the groups of angiosperms basically they have been categorized into two categories namely basal angiosperms and misangiosperms and basal angiosperms and misangiosperms are two sister clades and further basangiosperms, basal angiosperms have been uh, placed under the three orders namely Amboreleles with one family, Nymphiales with three families and Astrobileales with the three families within their uh, circumference. 
then mesangiosperms again uh, unranked clade has been further divided into magnolids comprising four orders and in between them there is a order which is a distinct order namely chloranthales and then monocot comes with 11 orders and again another order comes namely ser ceratophyllales with one family be before eudicots comes with 44 orders let us study each and every uh, these uh, clades before it comes to the orders we have to understand the clades they are not ranked uh, like division subdivision like that but they are termed as simply termed as clades which comes under mesangiosperms that means they may be subclades to mesangiosperms and we look into one by one with the magnolids magnolids comes with the two uh, four orders uh, namely canalales with the two families piperales with the three families magnolials with the six families then laurels with the seven families and chloranthales is the order between magnolids and monocots which we already studied so monocots will comprise again monocots is a group of plants without any uh, specific rank but with 11 orders comprising 77 families and here the 11 orders are placed in a way that acorales with one family and alice materials with 14 families petrosaviales with one family dioscoriales with the three families then pandanales with the five families liliales with the ten families asparagales with the 14 families then arachales with the two families then comelinales with the five families gingiberales with the eight families along with the poeales with the 14 families among them arachales comelinales gingiberales and poeales are subclade uh, they, they will come under another subclade called comelinids then ceratophyllales is the another order between monocots and eudicots here the eudicots have been classified into core eudicots except four orders which comprises 13 families and core eudicots are further classified into pentapetale except one order with the two families and pentapetale is further classified into two uh, clades which are called as super rosids and super astrids except again one order with one family and super rosids are comprised of rosids except one order which comprises the 15 families and rosids have been classified further into fabids and malvids except one order which comprises one family and within the fabids we can see eight orders comprising 74 families and among these eight orders and 74 families there is one more subclade which is called as com clad with the three orders and 45 families and the rest of the malvids have been classified into eight orders with 60 families within their circumferences then super asterids have been classified into asterids except three orders comprising 52 families and asterids have been uh, classified into uh, two subclades uh, namely lamids and campanulids except two orders which are comprising 28 families and lamids are with eight orders with 46 families and campanulids are with the seven orders comprising 29 families so these are all the different this is very important uh, classification what we should have understood uh, what we should know to know the outline of the APG system of classification and further let us study what are these orders which are placed into different clades one by one so eudicots as we know that there are four separate orders which have been placed uh, before it go, goes to the core eudicots then those separate orders are ranunculales with the seven families and proteales with the four families trochodendrales with one family and buxales with one family 
and further we can see that core eudicots are also having one separate family which is comprising the order, one separate order comprising gonorrheals with the two families and there is a separate order in pentapetale that is delineals which is comprising one family and there is one more separate order in superrosids which is comprising saxifragales with the 15 families and one more order in rosids which is called as white tails with one family then in rosids we know that rosids have been uh, further classified into fabids and malvids and within fabids we can see five very important orders uh, before it uh, categorized into comb clad so uh, the five orders of the fabids are zygophiles with the two families, fabales with the four families, rosales with the nine families, fagales with the seven families, and cucurbitales with the eight families. And there is one more uh, separate clad, as is uh, told earlier, the three uh, families, uh, so sorry, three orders, namely celastrales with the two families, oxalidales with the seven families, and Malpig heels with the 45 families. The name com refers to the first names of all these three orders. Then let us move on to the another subgroup, subclade of the rosids that is Malvids and it is comprising eight orders namely Geraniales with the two families and Myrtales with the nine families and <coughs> Crossosomatales with the seven families, Picramniales with the nine families, Hortiales with the four families, Sapindales with the nine families, and Malvales with the ten families, along with Brassicales with the seventeen families. And we also recall that the Pentapetale has been subdivided. Another clade is the superastrids. Other than the superrosids, within the superastrids, there are three orders which have been placed uh, in a, a separate from astrids. So these three orders are Barbary. Barbaridopsidales with the two families, Santaleles with the seven families, Caryophyllales with thirty-eight families, and further the class has been subcladed into asterids with the two uh, asterids and asterids have been classified further classified into two very important uh, clades the uh, subclades namely lamids and campanulids and before they bifurcate into lamids and campanulids there are two more classes uh, sorry orders which are namely cornales with the six families and aricales with 22 families and further lamids clade we can see that eight orders comprising icosinales with the two families metanuosales with one family garials with the two families gentianales with the five families boraginales with the six families here again there is a small um, uh, doubt in the placement in the recent uh, literature the range of families may be 6 to 11 that is what they told but according to the 2016 paper which uh, put forward the APG4 it is 6 families and I have written the same here Valiales with one family and Solanales with the five families and Lamiales with the 24 families. Last the clade of the superastrids is Campanulids and uh, Aquifoliales with the five families and these Campanulids have been categorized into seven orders with Aquifoliales with the five families, Astrales with the eleven families, Escaloniales with one family, Dipsacales with two families, Epiales with one, seven families, and Bruniales with two families, and Paracryphiales with one family. And there are certain ungrouped taxa in APG system, and it is called as insert sedis, that means placement unknown, uncertain placement, and such seven taxa are seen in APG4 system of classification. And finally, let us uh, have a broader look about the APG system of classification that top 10 orders with the highest species among them are Asparagales having 
36,205 uh, species belongs to 1,122 genera of uh, love 14 families. Like that, astrails with uh, 26,000 and odd, lamiels with 23 and odd, fabales 20,000 and odd, uh, gentianels with 19,000 odd, poels with 18,000 odd, malpighiels with 16,000 odd, metales with 13,000 odd, caryophyllales with 11,000 odd, and ericales with 11,000 odd. These together only, if we calculate, they comes around 1,98,000 species. That means, among 64 orders uh, which are there in the APG, two-third of these species are residing in top 10 orders. And this particular system of classification gives a proper monophyletic phylogenetic understanding of the plants and their evolution thereby their relationship between other species also and overall it is the modern and most received uh, type of uh, classification at the recent times hope my lecture was useful to you and i thank for you for uh, attending this watching this thank you